Now I'm going to show um, preparing a mast, aluminum mast. This one is off a 2.4 meter sailboat and it broke just about at the deck line. So uh, I cut it above the deck line so that we have a, a good uh, join in full view and we can see what's going on with it. And here I've taken the piece off another mast, cut off the slide so that it fits inside and this piece is inside the mast up to that point and I used some uh, West epoxy to uh, help to fill the cavities and give it a bit more strength. Eventually I'm going to uh, rivet it together with aluminum pop rivets and now I need to put the bottom piece on the mast which I've also cut from another broken mast and I'll show you how that's done. Here is the piece that I cut off the other mast as you can see it's a complete section and it's about 60 centimeters long and it will fit over here like this. Just have to squeeze that up a little bit and then hammer it on with suitable epoxy. So that's what I'm going to do next. So now we're going to mix up some West epoxy. Just a little bit, about half a pump. Half a pump of that. And half a pump of that. Mix it up. Nice gooey mess. And then I'm going to put it on the mast. Well actually on the sleeve that goes inside the mast. This West epoxy is pretty old. That's when the hardener goes brown. But it is apparently they tell me not a big deal. I've already roughened up this surface. So this should just fill up some voids, that's all it's for really. Just to fill the voids between the sleeve and the mast. So not only does this harden up and fill the gaps, but it also provides a little bit of lubricant to it. The shaft on them. So there we go. Now, now I'm going to put these pieces together. and then sand it and paint it so you'll never know Oops here so it fills it up now all we need to do is Put some uh, aluminum rivets in there. Then, because I beat on this end, I allowed about uh, half a centimeter to cut it to the proper length, which by my estimation is 554 centimeters. So there we go, done.